friends today i'm going to explain you about the new topic called as destruction osteogenesis it refers to it it is a technique by which lengthening of a bone by a new bone formation occurring in the occurring in between two osteodistracted fragments i will repeat it once again destruction osteogenesis is refers to it is a technique by which lengthening of a bone by new bone formation occurring in between the two osteo with distracted fragment friends compared to the advantages of it all it is safer decrease operative time conservative it is done in younger patients also no bone graft is to be needed growth of bone and soft tissue will occur friends friends before going to the indication it is only done in the case of major facial trauma not for limb lengthening surgeries okay it is a explanation of this is only about for about not limb lengthening surgeries it is for only about the major facial trauma cases only it is done in maxilla and mandible and cranial facial fractures i mean cranial facial surgeries coming to the maxilla it is done for cleft lip or cleft palate and any bone deficiencies are for palatal expansions for mandible macrosomia syndromes tmj disorders and trauma any bone deficiencies coming to the craniofacial surgeries syndromic conditions like abjet sin abjet syndrome and lordsis mean cordialis syndrome coming to the steps regarding to the mean regarding to this surgical fracture and controlled segmental movement bone formation between the two segments and soft tissue remodeling coming to the principles of this are bone cut latency rate rhythm consolidation phase and retention phase these are the six steps regarding to the destruction of osteogenesis <coughs> friends what is in the what is mean the principles principles means most important steps you will please remember that bone cut means it is done along with the preventing the blood supply latency means 3 to 7 days in older patients and 1 to 2 days in the younger patients friends right it is refers to the amount of separation of amount of separation to be needed usually for mm for about 1 mm per day for younger patients it is about 1.5 to 2 mm per day when necrotic patients are about 0.5 to 1 mm per day rhythm means it refers to the frequency of application of efforts it is about two times a day consolidation phase it is about four to six weeks i mean it is about one and a half month i mean for for about one month it is about four weeks i mean next two weeks about half month so it is about one and a half month you may be remember this type also coming to the retention phase it refers to the removal of appliance and stabilization of a job this is about the 
destruction of surgencies for only for about the maxilla facial trauma not for about limb lengthening surgeries i hope you understood this well i mean you understood so far this topic if you like this video please like and share this video please subscribe to my channel friends thank you bye friends